Last week, one of the most popular all-in-one cloud course platforms went down for several hours. Not only could nobody access the courses or memberships that they were part of, but anybody who was in the middle of a launch to their students was locked out of their system, losing sales by the minute. So that left a lot of their users asking, what do I actually need to be able to run my own course platform to sell and deliver automated courses in exactly the way I want that I have control over? In this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly that. What tools you need at the absolute minimum, basic and professional levels to deliver your online courses in a way that you control. Let's dive in. Welcome to the Buddy Boss Podcast, where we dive deep into the strategies that will help you build, launch, and grow your online course, community, or membership platform. I'm your host, Jason Broderick, Head of Content and Marketing Strategy here at Buddy Boss. Challenges of an all-in-one cloud platform. All-in-one cloud platforms for delivering courses and memberships can be appealing for a lot of reasons. Typically, they require little to no technical setup, and because they're managed by third parties, you never have to worry about technology headaches or so they would have you believe. But last week has shown us that cloud course platforms are just as fallible as every other website. The challenges of relying on them to sell and deliver your courses and memberships are real. You don't really control anything. If your all-in-one cloud platform goes down while you're in the middle of a launch, there's nothing you can do about it except sit there refreshing Twitter and hoping for the best. You can't intervene in any way. You can't take any action on your own site. You can't enact a fallback or a redundancy. But at least you can communicate the issue with your own members, right? Wrong. You don't own anything. If your whole business lives inside a cloud platform and it goes down, you can't access anything. You can't message or email your own customers. You can't even export a list and send an email to them manually. When your system is all in one, if one part goes down, it takes your whole business with it. And we saw with several high profile users last week, if you're in the middle of a launch and your cloud platform goes down, you don't even own the sales or the emails that you collected during that time. And if the company decides to do a rollback to solve their issue, poof, there goes any money or data that you collected during that time. You're stuck with subpar tools. Now these all-in-one solutions would have you believe that they have everything you'll ever want and need to run your business. But in my experience, these platforms often are only good at one element and the others are the bare minimum for what you need. And if you decide that you want to level up your email marketing strategy or you want to double down on your affiliate system or you want to roll out a killer community, forget about it. You're limited to only the features that they've provided and you'll have to migrate your entire business to make even the smallest enhancement. You're paying through the nose. These all-in-one cloud platforms love to tout that they simplify your process and reduce your costs by combining all these tools into one system. And whilst it might be true that the billing is simplified, typically these all-in-one platforms are significantly more expensive than comparable self-managed systems. I recently did a direct cost comparison between the most popular all-in-one cloud platform and a suite of premium WordPress tools and hosting. And I found that it was 52% more expensive in year one and up to 90% more expensive from year two onwards. Particularly if you're just getting started, don't be fooled that it's cheaper to use a SaaS. You're locked into their system. Then the day comes when you've had enough. You're sick of the limitations. You want to enhance the experience. You could have afforded your own private island for the money that you've handed over to them over the years. So you decide to leave. Well, good luck to you. Your content is all stuck inside there. Your customers, their billing and their subscriptions and payments are all stuck inside there. Even their contact details are stuck in there. And if you want to move, you're gonna to need to do a serious amount of manual work to get out. And typically, you're gonna lose most of your recurring income in the process. So if you are considering what platform to use and you're seriously weighing up your options between an all-in-one cloud service or a self-managed system, let me outline for you what you really need to sell and deliver your online courses at the beginner, intermediate, and advanced levels. Minimum tools you need to sell and deliver your online course. So this level is quick and dirty. It's all about getting set up and moving quickly with no friction. This method is probably fine as long as you have less than 100 students, otherwise it starts to get a bit hard to manage and you should probably be earning plenty by then to invest in moving up a tier. Social media. It might be tempting to think that the very first thing you should go and do is build yourself a flashy website. But if lockdown has taught us anything, it's that social media is now more than enough to get started building an audience of fans and followers who are ready and willing to buy your online course. Influencers like Courtney Black used Instagram alone to build an audience of 800,000 
and she was selling her content directly through Instagram for months before she managed to catch up with her meteoric popularity and launch her own website and mobile app. Take payments. At the absolute minimum, you just need a secure way for anyone to send you money from anywhere in the world. Now, there are plenty of tools out there that'll let you do that, but the absolute most basic way is just to set up a PayPal and link it to your social media. Simple. Send videos. Finally, you need a way to send videos to people that have paid you in a secure enough way that they can't easily be accessed for free. During lockdown, when the home workouts craze was at its peak, I jumped on the bandwagon and I found a super fun trainer running daily workouts that were themed around food called Bobby's Bakery. Think buns of steel, tabata ciabatta. No joke, it was brilliant. For months, Bobby was just accepting PayPal payments and sending links to password protected videos on Vimeo every day. It took five minutes to set the password and send the emails every day, but it worked. He had hundreds of participants show up live every day using nothing but PayPal, Vimeo and his Gmail account. Now let's move on to basic tools to sell and deliver your online course. So you've got a little bit of money to invest and you wanna set yourself up with a solid foundation that can grow with you without breaking the bank. Here's what you're gonna need. Website, domain and hosting. You need somewhere for people to go and learn about you and what you sell and somewhere to catalog and deliver your courses. WordPress is your best friend here. It's free and open source and every half decent hosting provider on the planet will offer you a way to install it with one click. Being completely honest, at this stage, it doesn't really matter too much who you choose as your host. Start by picking a host in the sort of $20 a month range. That should give you enough room to grow, but eliminate some of the dirt cheap options that you want to avoid if possible. Register a domain at a popular domain service like Namecheap and follow your host's instructions to point that domain to your new host and you're done. You can start building out your basic course site straight away. Learning management system. One of the first tools that I suggest you invest in to help with your basic course delivery platform is a learning management system or LMS. Basically a learning management system allows you to take a collection of separate videos and resources and stitch them all together into lessons and topics to create an actual course. Most of the popular ones like LearnDash and Tutor LMS also add enhanced functionality to manage students with things like lesson progress tracking and more. And some also have their own built-in payment gateways so that you can sell and deliver your course without needing anything else. Shopping cart. Despite some LMS systems having their own basic payment gateways, at this stage, I also recommend that you bypass those and jump straight to using one of the more popular shopping cart solutions that integrates with whatever LMS that you choose, like WooCommerce. The reason for this is that your payments are the one thing that have to stay with you for the whole life of your business. For security reasons, if you decide to upgrade your payment system later on, you can't take any of those previous payments with you. So starting out with a robust system like WooCommerce means that you'll never outgrow it and be stuck. Email marketing system. At this stage, you'll definitely want some way to email your customers and collect leads that's more robust than a spreadsheet and your own Gmail account. Many people start out with a freemium service like MailChimp here, which is perfectly fine to get you started, but this is actually another one of those areas where it often pays to just start one level up from where you are now so that you can benefit from a more robust set of tools which will help you earn more money faster, but it also prevent you from needing to migrate again in future when you outgrow your free service. There are plenty of great options out there starting from about £15 a month that scale up with the more contacts that you have. Or you could even explore a self-hosted solution like Groundhog or Fluent CRM if you're a bit more tech savvy. More on that later. Professional tools to sell and deliver your online course. Landing page builder. A page builder isn't too necessary at the beginning of your business when you're just getting started, especially if you're using WordPress, which has Gutenberg to give you the basics built in. Very soon, however, you're gonna want to be building several specific pages for selling your course, dashboards for students, services you provide, and a whole set of other things that a page builder will help you do much more quickly. A sales funnel system. You've invested heavily in building your audience and your marketing lists. Now you wanna make sure that you do your best to convert and increase your course sales and the revenue that you generate from other activities too. More advanced than a simple shopping cart solution, a sales funnel system will allow you to not only create dynamic sales pages, but order bumps, one-click upsells, downsells, cross-sells, bundles, and everything that you'll need to maximize the profit that you make from each one of your buyers. Learning management system? Just like above, at the professional level, you will definitely want to have a professional level LMS to manage your course content and students. 
Membership system. In addition to your LMS, you'll probably want to add a membership system into the mix at this stage, which typically provides two functions. It will allow you to lock and unlock pages and content outside of your course based on whether your students are enrolled or not. Let's say you have a private coaching booking page or a library of resources that are only for students. Your membership system will allow you to manage that. But also, if you want, your membership system can often double as your payment or shopping cart system. For example, with member press or WooCommerce memberships and subscriptions, which both cover you for the payments themselves and also the content restriction controls and course enrollment. Community platform. Once you move into the professional realm, you're going to want to graduate from relying solely on social media and start running some kind of dedicated student community where you can run cohort training with small groups of students, as well as enhance the student engagement and the student success rates. With a WordPress-based system and a learning management system like LearnDash, you have the perfect opportunity to unify all of that together under a dedicated platform like BuddyBoss, which provides you with a dedicated world-class community platform that you own and control that isn't at the mercy of Facebook. A marketing automation system. At this stage, you'll most definitely want to graduate from your freemium email marketing tool to a system that allows complex segmented marketing automation. And even better if that tool integrates directly with your website and learning management system. There are two schools of thought here. The first is that a high-end SaaS service like ActiveCampaign gives you a bulletproof way to always stay in contact with your leads. But that comes at a price when you start to grow with the fee increasing per contact. The other school of thought is that you can fold that system into your WordPress site using a self-managed tool like Groundhog or Fluency ORM and dramatically reduce the cost as you're no longer paying to store your email list. But then you also have to manage things like your own sending deliverability and it can present challenges for the less tech savvy among you. Affiliate management system. A robust affiliate management system is crucial as you start to grow your professional course sales business. You're gonna to wanna to have partners to promote for you and an affiliate system will allow you to give them all unique links and track their sales and pay out their commissions. When you're relying on and paying commissions to partners, you need this system to be rock solid and there's no better platform out there for this than Affiliate WP. I've partnered with some people on their course launches built on some of the most popular all-in-one systems and their affiliate systems really leave them down and it's a poor reflection on their own business too. Native mobile app. Lastly, as a professional course creator, there is no better way to position yourself as a world leader running a top-notch outfit, let alone no better way to engage your students and increase their success than by having your own branded native mobile app. Your students already spend 80% of their time online on their phones, and with your own native mobile app, you get to deliver your courses in a dedicated way with offline viewing, push notifications, and even increase your sales with frictionless payments and subscriptions using in-app purchases. So that's it. If you're gearing up to launch your first online course and considering what platform to use, or if you're seriously weighing up your options after having been burned one too many times by your all-in-one cloud service, now you know exactly what tools you need at what stage to give you the freedom and flexibility that you need to grow exactly how you want to and always stay in control of your own business. If you enjoyed this video, could you do me a favor and hit that like button? It really helps other people to discover these videos too. And if you're currently using an all-in-one course platform or membership platform and you're having doubts, drop a comment below and let me know what your challenge is or what you're struggling with and I'll do my best to get around and answer you. Until next time.